guys again this is me again on my channel youtube channel and behind of me i think you're going to be seeing some bamboos here with some lettuce so i've done a recent video where i have started from up there with some bamboo shockers up there also with the tank and i've also started this same shocker down here but i've done it on a more larger scale okay so if you're giving it a try you will actually i'm gonna tell you how i actually start doing this i can see this one here have a little bit of wilt i think it's because the hole underneath has been blocked so i'm gonna show you how i did this and i'm gonna use a definition of a flat piece of bamboo so here the bamboo is not flat like this, but you need the bamboo with the halves. As you can see it right here. You cut a, a section of the bamboo where you can have a hole where you can store the soil. And also, from the bottom of the bamboo, you're going to need to drill a hole in case any excess water settles can, can run out. And this is also a very good practice for any person who don't have spacing, as I said in my earlier video, if you don't got no spacing in your garden and it's actually like you want to do some planting or you got stones, as you can see here, that's the reason why I floated this bamboo because I cannot get any any place to put my vegetables on the ground and I was wondering where could I actually get such, you know, spacing until I've gotten the idea to the bamboo. I'm pretty good. I've seen everyone germinated because I've been doing my nursery and I've taken the plants from there and I put it inside of here. And I'm seeing a little bit of, you know, this is all time gonna happen. You're gonna get a little lossy sometimes. You can be too vexed or too angry with yourself for having any loss because certain part of the bamboo, I think. I am experiencing a little bit of wilt and I believe this is caused by the plenty of water you know so I'm gonna be here with them time after time making sure that I monitor them you know check up on the bamboos make sure that the spacing are okay make sure that the holes at the bottom are also cleaned so that the water coming through can all get a chance to go under all right so this is what it's like and I'm looking to do something bigger than that sometime soon I'm looking to make a bigger structure I'm looking to grow plenty of lettuce in the bamboos so this is my first crop this is my first grow and so far so good I mean I'm not gonna say I'm regretting any stuff here I've planted these things since they were at least this height and now they are all the way to this height and if you can watch many of them they're also the same height so it's a very it's a plus because it saves you from weeding it saves you from time you may have to come on the ground and all time have to clean 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 it saves you from that and also you may have a little weeds growing in between but it's not going to take you a few minutes to actually pull it out and actually one more thing, if the lettuce are the normal size, it's gonna suppress whatever weed is coming up afterwards, so you don't need to clean until you harvest. And I'll be coming with a video to show you how, what, how I will harvest and what other technique I'll be using so that I don't take out the soil and I don't actually use have to get soil replaced and give myself another work. I will check my soil from time to time and if I find I need to change the soil then I'm going to tell you guys how long I use before I change the soil what are the symptoms I see with the lettuce and how long the soil will there and I'm going to be showing you what technique I also use so I'm going to be saying that before I actually put any mold into the bamboo I had actually got some burnt stuff which I, we had burned there for years one years continue burning stuff the soil get black it leaves a little bit of blackness 
and I've used that as a manual. So what I did, I put it first, put a little layer of it first to the bottom, and then also afterwards I started using the soil from the ground and put on top. The reason why I put it below is because the roots tends to grow underneath first, get the water, and then whatsoever water is remaining on top, we get other roots coming back on top. So I put it below because I wanted the plant to actually catch the first vibe. And since the soil is burned, it is very good for lettuce, cucumbers, pumpkins, and any running vine crops, any watery crops, even melons, it's going to do very well. So I've done it like this because I didn't have a pen manual or any goat manual, rabbit manual, anything to give it. So I have put in that black burned soil below there. And this is going to help us on nutritious only to boost the plants. Then afterwards, I buy some 12 by 24 and I've given to my lettuce. And it's the first time I'm really using this type of um, fertilizer to shot crops. And it has done them pretty, well, pretty good, pretty well. Before I used to use the 2020 salt manual. But now I'm using the 12 by 24, red, white, and pink, blue, and stuff like that. All those different colors. And it's a very strong manual, so I recommend you don't use a hand to actually place it into the soil. You use a, you have a glove or a plastic bag or anything that can cover your hands. Got a salt you can cut up your hand. So that's it for today, guys. And I'm going to be going to my cornfield next. I have a nice little strategy for anyone who wants to plant double crops in your field and you don't have enough space again. I'm going to be using that little technique to show you guys in Grenada, whatever country you are in. That if you don't got space, you don't think that you can't farm, you could farm. It's just that you're going to be using techniques and it's going to be very smart enough. So thank you guys for watching. Like, to subscribe, share, and I'll be coming to you. See you with the other videos.